guys, this is Paige. I was just talking to his sister, and um, I really wanted to talk about this. Like, I, we were talking, and um, basically it came up that, like, God yearns for our love. You know what I'm saying? He, like, yearns for it. Like, he wants it. He, he wants your affection to be set on him. You know, like, you know, if you like someone and you like really, really like them and you want to get their attention and, um, you want to be with that person all the time and, and you know, that they, they, they make you feel good and stuff like that's how God wants you to feel about him, <laughs> you know, like that you want to be with him all the time, that, that you, you like him, you want to spend time with him, you want to set your affection on him, like, you know, he he wants that he want god wants to be your everything you know that that's what he desires um cuz he loves us so much like he loves his children so much and he wants us to just like rely on him depend on him for everything we need you know what i mean um and not depend on like another person for that cuz if you do that then then he doesn't like that because God is a jealous God, okay? He wants to be our everything. Um, and for us to trust him that he will take care of us and he will provide for us and he will even dissatisfy us in terms of um, love and everything and, and we can go to him and, and he just wants such a close relationship with us, you know? Um very close. I mean, God is a personal God. He's not distant. He actually lives inside of our bodies. We are like the temples of the Holy Spirit. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's a very personal thing. Um, like, and through the Spirit, we know Him. You know? Yeah, so I just wanted to make that video talking about how God yearns for us and for our love, and for us to just set our affections onto Him, you know? And to spend time with Him, and to be with Him, and, and to love Him. Like, you know how you want to feel loved by the person you like, or whatever? That's how God is. Like, God wants to feel loved by you, you know? He wants to feel that, like, that you love Him. It, it, it makes Him happy, <laughs> you know? He... He made us in his image, right? God has feelings just like we do, you know? And, and how we want to feel loved, he wants to feel loved too. I mean, he doesn't need us because he is self-sufficient, but he wants us. Just like, but we need him though, you know? So it's, you know, it's, it's glorifying to him because we need him. But he doesn't need us, but he wants us and he loves us and he yearns for us, you know? Um, and that's good for us to remember, to try to remember to set our affection on him um, because he's worthy. I mean, he died. Jesus died for us. Has any other man ever died for you? I don't think so. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> he's worthy of it, you know, of, of our love. Um, and he suffered for us so much, you know. <laughs> Yeah, so I just wanted to talk about that, how he yearns. He yearns for our love. Um, and, like, he wants to make us complete in him, you know? And, and like, not completed by another person, but completed by him. Like, you know, all of us, like, we're... Um, felt so incomplete in the world and stuff because God made it so that he made humans to need a relationship with God and he wants to complete us and have us feel that way and as we get more and more refined I think that happens over time and we rely on him more and we love him more and all that sort of thing and and he is the one that completes us you know He's the part of us that, that's not complete, like when you're in the world and you don't know him. You know, so let us try to remember to put our affection on him, although we won't be perfect, because he's worthy and he yearns for it. He, he, 
he wants that. I mean, he loves us. He's looking at us and he, he wants to feel loved. Just like we want to feel loved, you know? Alright guys, alright, love you guys, bye!